Hey there, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. Today, I'm really excited to talk about this new product I got from Culpin is the brand. And it is a chainsaw press, AKA like a universal sandwich mount for a chainsaw. Again, the reason I got this is because I, when I go on a trip, I always take a chainsaw with me just in case if I get, come across a downed tree or need to cut something up. Also, even if I don't come across that, I will almost always use it to process firewood at camp. So rather than cutting it up with an ax or a handsaw or anything like that, I'm just gonna use my chainsaw but I want a way that I can quickly throw it in here and I want a way to mount it up out of the bed. So typically I put it on the deck system and it just takes up space where other stuff could go. So again, I'm gonna show you guys how this thing mounts. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use it. And uh, hopefully it's something that is helpful for you if you're looking for a way to mount a chainsaw. Hopefully this will give you some good information. So if you wanna learn more about the Culpin press mount, stay tuned. Just to show you guys what comes in this kit, you do get, this is the press mount. So you can see it's got foam inside of it so that it gets a good grip on the chainsaw. These holes in the back are meant to attach the sandwich mount to this mounting plate, which it also comes with. Um, again, lots and lots of holes, so tons of like sort of universal ways to mount the thing. And then they also include all the hardware, which is really nice. You've got some bolts and, and lock washers in here to attach the press to the mounting bracket. And then you've also got some sort of U-shaped uh, U-bolts in here with nuts on them that you can use to attach the mounting bracket to your application. And then last but not least, this sort of knob here is how you actually uh, tighten the press. So you basically put your chainsaw in here, close it, and then you twist down the knob and that will sandwich the blade of the saw in between here. So again, a nice, firm, sturdy connection so you don't have to worry about your saw going anywhere while you're driving down the road or on a trail. Um, but a nice easy way to again have a permanent mount where you can just throw your chainsaw up where you want it to go somewhere in the back of your truck and you can just mount it so again better than just strapping it down with a bungee cord into the bed of the truck so what i've kind of decided on is the back of my swing out tire here you'll see that there's that post that holds the spare on what i'm going to do is and i'm actually I had some of these bigger U-bolts. I'll figure out what size these are because these were what I used to hold my old rooftop tent on. So I bought these on Amazon or something. So I will put the dimensions up here, the, the width of these U-bolts. Um, you could get square ones too, which would work even better. I'm just trying to use what I've got. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the mount like this and I used my drill press and I just widened out these four holes. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these U-bolts like this in an X pattern around this post to hold this onto it. And then I'm gonna put the chainsaw mount here behind the spare. So I'm just gonna get this lined up to where the chainsaw has just enough room to be behind the spare. It should still be low enough because it, it's not taller than, not much taller than the tire to where then I can swing this closed and it will come in below the rooftop tent and be totally out of the way. So it'll be basically hidden behind the spare tire with just a little bit sticking up at the top and then I'll be able to access. So like if I needed to get to it, I would just swing my spare tire carrier out, get the chainsaw and be good to go. Most of the time that I'm using my chainsaw, I'm already at camp and I've got the, the swing out open. I've got the bed down because I'm cooking or getting stuff out of the deck system. So I think this will be a really good solution, but you definitely got to think about it. There's some brain time that you need to spend thinking about how you want to mount this thing because it is a little bit tricky. You know, again, originally the intention with this is to put this like on the back of a tractor or an ATV or something like that where you can just really easily mount the chainsaw vertically. Um, the problem with that on an SUV or a truck is, you know, there's just not as much room. Like my chainsaw is a 14 inch bar and it's so long that it, it doesn't even stand up in the back of the truck. So if I wanted to put it back here, I would have to have the blade either stick off the side or mount it to the outside of the rack, which isn't ideal because you don't want it falling off on the road or, you know, getting caught by a tree branch and ripped off. So again, I think if I put it on the back of the spare tire, that's gonna be my best bet. So let's give that a try. So then the sandwich mount itself basically mounts with a few of these little bolts with nuts that go through them. So you put the bolt through here so that it kind of flush mounts back inside of the foam. So it doesn't rub against your chainsaw bar. 
So the small ones, uh, nuts on the back are 7 16 And then the head of the screw bolt, I guess if you will, is Phillips head. So I'm just gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver to hold this side tight and I'm gonna use my socket on the back to tighten those nuts up. Since we're losing the light, I'm gonna use my newest addition, which is this uh, pre-lit sort of bed kit. That helps a lot. All right, before we lose the light, let's get this done. Let us try mounting our chainsaw and see if this will close. This one ideally would go that way, but you see the problem, right? It's hitting the spare. So I'm just gonna reverse mount it here just like this. Try and rest some of the body on the mount if I can. It's kind of hard to do one-handed here. Oh boy. All right, just like that. Slide that over. So you can see with this knob and sandwich sort of press situation how much easier this is to get your chainsaw mounted in here instead of like trying to strap it down a bunch or do something crazy. Just sort of get it held in, but then once that's in there, it shouldn't be going anywhere. So let's move the camera a little bit and then let's try and close this and see if it works. So ran out of light last night, didn't quite get this finished couldn't quite get it to work. So here's one of the downsides of doing something like this, right? This mount is intended really for like ATVs or tractors or things like that. So as a result, I have to kind of make up how I'm gonna attach this thing, right? That's, I was thinking all about the top of the rack for the truck, I was thinking about the sides. I really didn't want the chainsaw hanging outside of the truck. I didn't want it anywhere where it was more of a pain to get to because of the sandwich mount. So I wanted it to be somewhere where it would be easy to get to, where it would be out of the way, where it wouldn't impact anything else. So that's when last night I came up with the idea of mounting it back here behind the tire. Um, as you saw last night though, I was trying to mount it to the top of the spare tire carrier. That made it like an inch, inch and a half too tall where it was actually hitting the Unistrut roof rack up there and it wouldn't go through. So it basically wouldn't close. I couldn't close it. Well, so then I, I figured that out. I actually turned the mount sideways, which I'll show you here as I'm talking. I turned the mount sideways and mounted it to the side of the, top, the spare tire carrier. And then the nice thing is you can mount the actual sandwich plate, the press, to that thing in any orientation that you want. So I basically mounted it straight up and down, but with the mount sideways. Um, so now it holds it perfectly and it's behind the tire. I did have to reverse mount the chainsaw so it is not sitting on the rest like I would love it to, but it's not gonna hurt anything. It's in there stable. I mean, it's not gonna go anywhere. And again, it's behind the tire, so it's kind of sandwiched between the tire and the tailgate. So I'm gonna put down the tailgate now. I'm gonna show you how close it gets. I did also have to modify this slightly. There are these little fins here. I had to cut the bottom one off to keep it from contacting the tailgate. So it just barely fits. I mean, it's really, really close. But so again, I'm gonna turn it around here. I'm gonna close the tailgate. I'm gonna show you how this thing fits. So you can see that it actually mounts almost like it was meant to be there, right? Like it actually fits really, really well. I think there should be enough room there where that knob isn't gonna hit. Um, Another thing is that I could probably loosen these up and slide this back quarter inch, half an inch if I need to, just to get it further back since nothing's resting on this side anyways. I've actually got plenty of room that I could scoot that back a little bit if I needed to. The reason that I did sort of leave it all the way out is I actually like that this U-bolt is resting up against this vertical pole here just so that there's not going to be any sliding. Like I was kind of worried if I moved it back a little bit that then it could allow it to slide. But with this up against there and these things just tighten down as tight as I can get them. Um, they're on there super tight and they don't really have anywhere to go. So with it mounted like this, again, it fits just perfectly like it's supposed to be there. So again, definitely not an orthodox way to mount this, but I'm pretty happy with it. I'm happy with the way that it came out and it gives me a place to mount my chainsaw where, you know, before I was using straps and strapping it down over here on the side, it was moving around, you know, the cover would come off of it, things like that. It was in the way of other things that I wanted to mount here now. It is in a spot that was you know previously completely unused and besides that the spare tire is blocking this part of the rear view anyway so i don't really lose any visibility or anything like that um so it's really actually i'm really really happy with the way that, that came out so that was the mounting of the chainsaw via the Culpin press mount again if you have anything that's sort of cylindrical or square pipe like that or some way on your rack to attach it it does come with some small little u-bolts um, 
you could definitely find a way to mount this thing. Again, you're gonna have to be a little creative with the way that you mount it. You're gonna have to kind of come up with some ideas for exactly the orientation that you want it to be in. And it, you're gonna have to think through it because it gets kind of confusing when you're thinking about how the mount goes and then how the press goes and which direction the chainsaw is gonna go and how long is your chainsaw, how long is your bar, that kind of thing. But so again, I hope that that at least gives you a good idea of kind of the, the specs of the bolts and nuts and things like that and sort of gives you an idea for how to mount it. Um, again, I'm really happy with where this is. I love that it doesn't take up much space. I love that it's a unique placement. Um, so yeah, I hope that was helpful. Um, as always, if you're not already, make sure to click that subscribe button, click the bell to be notified when new videos drop. I do a couple videos every week, so there's tons of overlanding content, do-it-yourself mods, Nissan stuff, budget-minded stuff, weekend warrior stuff, tons of content like that here. So if you're into that stuff, definitely consider subscribing. Um, there are also links to Facebook, Instagram, my podcast down in the description below. Also, I have a Patreon page. We have a Discord. So we all chat on there 24-7. It's pretty awesome. And then last but not least, we have a Newbie Overlanders group on Facebook, which is totally free to join. Over 2,000 members at the time that I recorded this, and it's growing every day. So we'd love to have you there as well. Um, so again, thanks for watching. Post up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on this thing. Let me know if you have any better ideas, and we'll see you next time.